Hello everybody, we are starting off another vlog. Oh yeah, a little travel vlog thrown in the mix over here. Oh god. Your girl has been traveling so much recently and I'm living my best damn life. So we are in Cannes celebrating with Givenchy. It's so Instagramable everywhere, literally the hallway and everything. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna take photos every damn where. And we're literally gonna be spending the next two days with Givenchy and we're also gonna be celebrating the film festival as well and the launch of their new mascara. So I'll do a quick little room tour since I always love a little room toy, you know. Okay, so there's this wild beast in the room. He just came with the room. I'm you won't see me. Oh yeah, they can't see you. Grand's got camera gear in here. And let me know if you guys want to see maybe Grand film a video and he can talk about what he has in his camera bag because it is quite interesting, you know? So on the bed, we have this little bag here. I was actually going to get something like this from Pretty Little Thing. So I'm so glad I got gifted one because it's so pretty. And we've got loads of Givenchy goodies in here. I've literally tried the foundation as well and it's so nice. Oh my God, what's this? Hydro lotion, loads of lipsticks in here as well so this is my outfit for the airport it's so cozy and comfortable it's from misguided and playboy so cute but the only thing it hasn't got pockets like why do you not have pockets either on the jumper or the tracksuits then also my shoes are so freaking cute these are from koi footwear they literally have like the best platform kind of stuff and these chunky trainers are in these days and then grant's got a little goodie bag as well so what did you get gifted baby girl she's gonna smell pretty oh we've got a little mist Look at how nice this handwriting is. Let's pop some champagne. Oh, pop that bottle. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, so this will be going to no use. Imagine if you got gifted £200 in here to get some new sliders. Yeah, because you lost my Givenchy sliders. <laughs> how funny, guys. I lost his Givenchy sliders when I was in Mexico. So, yeah. This is, like, so sad for Greg. It's, like, rubbing his face in it everywhere he goes on this trip. Okay, so we just got our luggage. So I'm going to go get changed, take some photos. We have lunch on the beach now, which is quite cute. But we mainly have loads of free time really have four hours to just chill out walk around town if you want to and then we have to get ready for dinner tonight so that's gonna be nice and fun and then we've got a boat trip tomorrow so full jam-packed day oh my god look how nice this is yeah. velvet card it's an invite oh it's an invite oh she's fancy oh i need a lipstick color like this also guys i forgot lip balm and as an accutane user that makes me sound like a druggy but literally i'm taking medication for my skin at the moment and it makes your lips hella dry normally i need lip balm like with me at all times and i forgot freaking lip balm so now look how dry they are oh my god they're literally so dry and crusty okay i need to go hunt down my skincare bag and rifle through all the skincare i'm sure there's a lip balm laying around in my skincare bag so yeah let's go put on some lip balm take some photos get changed then get some lunch okay guys so i literally just got changed i wear neon today so we're going to meet the Givenchy team and we're having lunch by the beach okay guys look at the basic bitch in me we got some shrimp fritters yes anything fry you know my ass is into that shit got some chips chips and i've got some breaded chicken strips but look this ain't just any breaded chicken strip guys look how healthy it is it's got pumpkin seeds on here so yeah we're gonna dig in now yeah dip that oh yeah get that food porn yeah is it good? Mm. No, it's mm. good. Is it fresh or fresh? Okay, guys, so we finished lunch now. I just popped back to the room and I done a little outfit change again. Lemon dress is so freaking cute. And guys, honestly, everywhere is so Instagrammable. So it's a little bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It looks very deceiving, these blue skies and the sun, but the wind is strong. So, look, Gran. What you doing? Take a picture for the gram and get in the photo. Yeah. Guys, you're in the photo. Let's it's see. Oh my god, that's so cute! How Instagrammable is this shot, honestly, while some horses walk past? Yes, oh my god, I want her ponytail! So this is the most busiest street, apparently, and it's literally closed down for the Cannes Film Festival. We are on the hunt. You want me? What? <gasps> oh my god, it's angels. Yes, bitch. Oh my god. Yes, bitch. You better work. Oh my god. Yes, do it for the gram, baby. Okay, so we're on the hunt to go to the beach to shoot this outfit. Right, so we found the beach. Oh my god. I actually hate sand so much. <laughs> I think there's an Angry Birds premiere movie tonight happening. Oh my god. Look how pretty this is. This beach is way nicer than Mexico, guys. When I went to Mexico, literally there was seaweed everywhere. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! 
Here he fell. Oh my god, long walks to the beach, Greg. You better get the good shots, bitch. Okay, so the photos are done now. So I'll insert some photos here on the screen so you guys can see Greg's work. He is literally improving all the time. And now he doesn't moan as much, guys. Before, it used to be such a hassle trying to get him to shoot. Like, can I change an outfit, please? And he'll be like, roll his eyes and get really, really annoyed at me. But now he actually really enjoys it, I think. I'm uploading to Instagram stories, so if you want to follow me and watch my stories, then you can see. If you don't follow me, you and know. you can't see what we're getting up to. Yeah, because his profile's on private. He accepts anyone anyways. I don't know why it's on private, but he just... You know, loves being exclusive and all that. So guys, it's so overwhelming being here when it's Cannes Film Festival because at the moment, there's like celebs or very important people everywhere at the moment. And we feel so like, like such little people. There's literally like photographers everywhere, paparazzi everywhere. There's like people in ball gowns everywhere and they're just like walking and then people are like just taking photos of them, like flashing everything. It was quite a crazy experience. It just feels like you come out of your hotel and it's literally like a film set and everyone's so glamorous wearing the most amazing cocktail dresses like down to the floor. There's Louis Vuitton everywhere, design everywhere. Like literally outside of our hotel, there's like a Rolex, Cartier, Valentino, everything on the street. So I don't know, I feel very like, I don't really belong here. I know it sounds really weird, but me and Ground felt like, oh, we're so underdressed and I'm wearing like a pretty little thing misguided from the high street. So yeah, it's quite a crazy experience, guys. I never thought that I could ever go on these press trips with like these prestige brands, like Givenchy, like that is like a freaking fancy ass brand. So I can't believe I'm here really. Also, this is one of the first trips I've been to where I don't know anyone. I've met maybe a couple of girls before, like in passing, but like never really spoke to them properly or anything before. So I feel very glad that I have Greg here with me. I've won. I'll just be like Mm. We are literally just transferring some photos now. I kind of wanted to shoot another look, but I feel like this makeup is just like done now. This hair is done now. So I might call it a day until 8 p.m. <laughs> so guys, you have two hours to unwind and relax. I will show you guys my next outfit, which is also from Pretty Little Thing. Can someone just hit up Pretty Little Thing and just tell them that I need to be an ambassador for them because I need my own collection with them. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day now. I literally didn't vlog yesterday. You guys didn't even get to see my outfit. It was a really cute two-piece from Pretty Little Thing. So yeah, we're walking literally to the Marriott Hotel and then we're gonna get on a boat trip. And tonight is our last night. So we're gonna be going to this really big party and I literally have no idea what to wear. But I have a hairstylist coming. They arranged someone to do my hair, which I'm like, yes, please. You guys know I hate doing my own damn hair. Hello, Gang. Do you want to vlog for a bit? I'm tired, guys. I was up editing yesterday some photos for Twee, and I didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m. too. Huh? Twee fell asleep before me. So it looks like we're getting on these scooters. I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't ridden a bike since I crashed my bike. Oh my god. Hopefully, you don't flip over and snap your neck this time. Be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now. Don't be shy. Cause I got the system my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Guys, that was so crazy. Look, my helmet is over on my head. This is not very safe, is it? Okay, guys, so we're gonna get on a boat now and literally it is so pretty but don't let the sun fall you bitch because it's fucking cold so i literally put on like this jumper that does not go with my outfit at all but you know things you do my hair was getting crazy my lash was flickering but it was so good Greg took off the drone as well which i feel so proud of him because i think it's his second time flying the drone and anytime i see drone footage i honestly i'm like <laughs> Welcome to my yacht guys. We're just waiting for my driver to just turn up and uh, <laughs> drive into my next location. We're yeah. going to um, San Tropez. Yeah. Yeah, so Living our best see life. you guys in one year. Can you imagine one day we actually live that life where we have our own yacht driver? <laughs> My God, have you ever seen a boat like this before? Tabasco branded, oh bitch. As you guys can see, my hair's up now because my hair was literally creating dreadlocks. It was like blown all up in the wind. Took some really nice photos as well. It was so windy though. Honestly, the blue skies here is amazing, but as soon as the wind comes, it is like the chilliest of winds. So I just got a hairdresser to come to my room to do my hair. I'm literally crying from laughter because it's not what I wanted. I'm gonna show you guys the inspiration behind this. 
So I wanted a like, big curly, you know, bun with a headband because I'm wearing a headband tonight. And, you know, I just wanted it like loose and curly. I thought she would bring out like a tong or something, you know. Instead, I got this. Oh my God, it's literally like a rat's nest. Look how long this piece is. Oh my God. On the other hand, I just did my own hair. Oh my so. God, it looks so good, babe. On this trip, I actually forgot Grant's hair products. You know, yes, I'm in charge of the camera. She's in charge of the skincare <laughs> and the uh, hair products and stuff. And I totally forgot about his stuff because he keeps taking it in and out. So instead he used my wig products and I think this is what you need to be using from now on. So I'll put this on it and then I'm just done a blow dry back. Put a bit of hairspray in it and kapow. Okay guys, so I tried to kind of do like a messy bun thing. Honestly, I feel like shit right now, but you know, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. My hair was so frizzy. I literally tried to like just pin it up as much as I can and just recurl the front bits. But I'm wearing this really cool outfit. It's from Misguided. And I think it's meant to be like beach wear, but bitch, like everyone in Cannes is literally like so dressed up to the nines. And this is the only time I ever get to wear anything like this. I'm like an hour late, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so we literally just got back to the hotel room. I'm just gonna take a moment right now and just say thank you so much to the Givenchy team for just being such amazing hosts. Like, honestly, this is probably one of the best trips I've ever been on. They were so nice and accommodating. I was a bit nervous because I didn't know any of the other bloggers on this trip, but I ended up meeting some amazing people who are so, so, so lovely. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in on tonight's drama with my hair and everything. You know, it's not looking that cute now, but it's looking a bit more presentable. I actually realized that I really like headscarves, so I definitely want to invest in some more. It just makes it look a bit more like casual you know love the fact that it matches with my outfit which i've got so many compliments on by the way i do have to say if you have this dress what i did is i safety pinned it on the inside here so basically when i walk my leg will just come through because otherwise it kind of like looks like a really long dress you know and i want it to be a bit more sexy you know get out the legs show off that fenty body lava you know yeah i'm gonna leave the link to this dress down below just in case you guys want to find it because it is on misguided but sometimes misguided websites it's like so many pages go through so i'll link it down below in the description box also guys i did want to show you guys a little tip of what i did and it literally saved my life this right here is what i stored my fenty body lava in look at how much i used it already it's literally been so good on this holiday if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know i love melanie mills and it's so good i use the shade in rose gold and it gives you the most like amazing kind of airbrush smooth finish it looks like you're wearing pantyhose so i just want to show you guys the difference this is melanie mills in rose gold and this is it blended out so it literally just looks super shiny but then this is the fenty body lava oh my god guys it's literally so sheeny it makes you look like a wet goddess and i really like it because after the shower the glitter kind of still remains so it's always leaving your skin like nice and glowy you know so as you guys know the fenty body lava comes in a big hefty bottle and it's a glass bottle as well so super super heavy so i ended up finding this that i almost finished anyway from vichy washed them out and then you can refill them with stuff like this so really really handy on my holiday i've been loving it so far and i also use this mitt all the time as you guys can see it needs a good wash but i really like it because it folds up really really thin this is from Vita Liberata, but look how dirty this is. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. So it is that time of the video, guys. It is time to say farewell. I'm literally flying tomorrow at 9am in the morning, so there's nothing more interesting to say, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I know at the moment my channel has been, like, a bit inconsistent, you know, just one video a week. But I've been really, really trying to get back on my normal schedule of two videos every single week. So please bear with me, guys. I love you so much. I cannot wait to film the next travel vlog with you wherever we go. I have no plans yet. Yeah, but make sure you subscribe so you find out where our next adventure is and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers kane cans what's it called oh fucking know Khan. okay so we're currently in can oh, i don't know how to fucking say it fucking google this shit so you're pronouncing it without the s and it's more like phonetically pronouncing k-a-n can can like a tin can Let's take off this. Oh my god, no, I need to keep that hat on, bitch. Why are you coming over here for? You don't have to take the shots. I don't know if there's bloopers. Is there bloopers? I don't know. Should I make some bloopers? Oh my god, look how dry my lips are. They're literally like bumhole lips. <laughs>